So three, we are expecting to learn more later today about the July 4th shooting on the Ben Franklin Parkway that left two police officers injured. And this morning, we can tell you a $20,000 reward is now being offered for information leading to an arrest in the case. Eyewitness News reporter Wakisha Bailey joining us live this morning from the Parkway with the very latest. Good morning to you, Wakisha. What can you tell us at this point? Yeah, good morning, Janelle. Well, this entire area was a crime scene. We're talking about 15 blocks were locked down. Now, police tell us that they had to go through people's belongings that were left behind, all in hopes of finding some sort of clues that would lead them to who this shooter is. But most importantly, they say that they need the public's help. So this morning, two police officers are waking up in stable condition following a shooting on the Ben Franklin Parkway during the 4th of July fireworks finale at the Welcome America Festival. From the video pouring in, you see hundreds of people frantically running to safer grounds. Now families forced to grab what they could, leaving their belongings behind. Meanwhile, investigators are recreating the scene and trying to determine the origin of the shots fired. Now, former Deputy Police Chief Joe Sullivan says there's reason to believe that these shots may have been fired in the air. The lack of deformation on the bullet, uh, it leads me to believe that it lost velocity, which would be indicative of something that, that, that was fired. And when it reached the apex uh, of, of its trajectory, it, it fell back to the earth. Now, let's be clear, that still could have killed or injured that officer. Now, during that interview, Sullivan said that someone had to have seen something or have been near that person that may have shot, fired those shots. Meanwhile, police are urging anyone to come forward with any information. Reporting from the Parkway, Wakisha Bailey, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Wakisha, thanks so much.